In this tutorial, we'll do an overview of the basic operations and terminology used in PowerDirector 9. More detailed instructions can be found in the specific tutorials also available on the CyberLink channel. And be sure to visit and join the member-supported CyberLink community forums. It contains a large archive of commonly asked questions that can be accessed via the search feature. On PowerDirector's main screen, you will see three working areas. The project library, the preview screen, and the project timelines. To start, click and drag a sample image to track number one. And now let's add a video clip and place it next to the image. To add additional media files to your project, click on the import media icon now browse for the desired media file and click OK. Your new media has now been added to your project's library and is ready to be placed in the timelines. There are two basic ways to edit a clip or an image. One option is to open the trim room and set your desired mark in and mark out positions. Once you've established the new positions, click OK and close the trim room. You can also choose to split a clip or image, and then remove the unwanted portion by clicking on the Delete tab. To add more tracks, click on the Add Tracks button. In the Track Manager window, you can choose the number of extra tracks to open and where to place them. To add a fade transition to your project, open the Transition Room. Locate the fade transition, then drag it down into the timeline and place it between your clips or images. To add text or a title, open the Title Room. Choose a template and drag it down to the text track. Then click on Modify to open Title Designer. In the Outline box, double-click and delete the default text and replace it with your own. In PowerDirector 9, you can also apply enhancements and tools to your project, such as color adjustment and other corrective measures. In Power Tools, you have the option to reverse your video, crop, or change your video's speed. To the left of the timelines, you will find the magic movie, motion, style, and other magic options. Make your choices, and with a few simple clicks, PowerDirector will help you create an automated movie or slideshow. To save your project library and timelines for future editing, you will need to generate a PDS file. Click on the Save tab, choose the folder you want to save to, name your save, and click OK. Then, when you want to reopen this project, go to the folder where it was saved, then locate and double-click on the saved PDS file. Your PowerDirector 9 will now open and load your media library and timelines just as you left them in your last editing session. To create a master video file, click on the Produce tab. Now choose a profile type. Then designate where to save the file. Name your master video file and then click on Start. Your project timelines will now begin to render into a master video file. To burn your project directly to a DVD, click on the Create Disk tab. In Create Disk, you can choose to use the available default menus, or create a custom menu for your project. Once your choices are made, click on the Burn tab. For more detailed PowerDirector 9 instructions, see the help files. View the other specific tutorials available on the CyberLink channel. And for member support from fellow PowerDirector users, be sure to visit the CyberLink community forums. Now that we've covered the basics and the support options, it's your turn to further experiment and explore all the options available for your PowerDirector 9.